midpoint coordinates. You'll be given a line. In this example, the line starts at point P, which is 2, 4, and ends at point Q at 10, 12. And you'll be asked to find the midpoint of the line PQ. First of all, let's have a look at the x-axis. So P goes over to 2 and Q goes over to 10. The midpoint of 2 and 10 is 6. Now, let's have a look at the y-coordinates. P goes up to 4 and Q goes up to 12. The midpoint of 4 and 12 is 8. And so the midpoint of PQ is 6, 8. In our second example, P is at 4, 2 and Q is at 9, 5. So looking at the x coordinates first, we have 4 and 9. If you're not sure how to find a midpoint, add the two numbers together and divide them by 2. So 4 add 9 is 13, and if I divide that by 2, that will give me 6.5. Now look at the y coordinates. We have 2 and 5. If I add them together, I get 7, and divide that by 2 is 3.5, and so the midpoint of PQ is 6.5, 3.5. In the third example, you can see that we're given the end of the line Q at 6, 9, and we're given the midpoint 2, 4, and we have to find the point P. So looking at the X and Y coordinates of 2 and 6, and 4 and 9. Let's look at the X coordinates for first. So from 6 to 2, I go down 4. Because 2 is in the middle, it will be 4 either side and so it will go down to minus 2. 9 and 4 have a gap of 5, and so I need a gap on, of 5 on the other side of 4, which will give me minus 1. And so the mid, uh, midpoint of 2, 4 will give me a point of P of minus 1, minus 2.